All right, family. I swear I'm tired of these videos. I swear I'm tired of reporting these videos. But it's what I it's part of what I do on here. Is I point out shit like this. Anyway, it's your boy Godly Mind State. Like, subscribe, share my video as soon as you come to the room. Familiar story: a young black male, teenager in Las Vegas selling water, license unlicensed, whatever the fuck. It don't matter. Police run up on him, put him in a chokehold. I ain't even watched the video yet. I wanted to just get my raw reaction with you guys. So let's see what's going on with this. This man sitting up here in a motherfucking chokehold. Two officers restraining them. Can't motherfucking breathe, man. That's the only fucking word that he could utter out of his mouth is I can't breathe. And these motherfuckers steady talking about some quit resisting. Do that sound familiar or not? Do you see that, man? The motherfucker is tightening up his grip, trying to make sure he cut out the circulation. Damn near trying to make sure he put him out or kill him, man. This is bullshit, man. I mean, this shit is so atrocious, bro, that they can, you know, straight up treat somebody like worse than they'll, than they'll treat a fucking stray dog. You you treat a human being worse than you treat any wild animal that you ran. You any wild animal that you ran up with all intentions of killing your ass. You'll treat a wild animal better than you'll treat this black man right here. That's fucking. Just prop this knee up on this man back like it's a motherfucking footstool. Like he did somewhere where his knee is normally comfortable at on the motherfucker back, and he just pulling all on him. This is awful, man. This is, this is a kid. You wonder why he, you wonder why motherfucker grow up and, and hate police and want to kill police and new NWA make a song fuck the police. Look at this shit, bro. This is. This shit has been going on since the beginning of, you know, beginning of police shit. But now these motherfuckers catching this shit on camera. This shit, this type of shit get caught on camera every fucking day. I don't report it every day because, goddamn. But when the shit is presented to me, you know, one of the first articles that I run across, then of course I'm going to report this shit. Picture though, man. All of this for a young man selling some water. So you don't, you don't want us to be criminals. We get killed for being criminals, and we get killed and locked up and fucked up for not being criminals. You know, it's it's a double edged sword when you when you when you just 
Walk down the street as a black man. It's like Shundai, 7-Eleven. You might crap out just walking to the motherfucking corner store, Trayvon Moore. And see, you know the, the 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 crazy part about this too is, man, we gotta be some motherfucking. We gotta goddamn put it on the line sometime, man. These women be putting it on the line for us, man. And you know the the the, the dude, the dude in the situation is quiet as a mouse. I wonder is it another dude around? It gotta be though. And I ain't telling you to go out there and fight these motherfuckers or none of that shit like that, man. But shit. To just sit on on the sideline while these motherfuckers just treat our people any kind of way, man. Nah, I'm, I'm, this is the type of shit I die for, man. Fuck that. I might as well die for it because it's killing me on the fucking inside. So, no. Hey, man. If, you, if, if, if the police fucking with me, bro, and I'm wrong, I'm going to comply. But if I ain't did shit wrong, man, I'm not complying, bro. I'm not showing you my ID just cause you want to see my ID and see who run it. No, none of that shit, bro. That ain't what's going on, bro. Cause these motherfuckers treat you like shit regardless. If you listen to everything they say or you don't. And uh, you see how far complying with white supremacy got us up to this part, this this point in 2019. We still fresh out the motherfucking boat. I'm talking about the motherfucking slave boat. We ain't far removed from that bit, bro. And for you motherfuckers who want to say stop pausing the video, if you don't like for the video to be pausing for me to come and come and come to make my commentary on the shit. Yeah, you make your own version of this video. For selling water, man, for for getting for trying to not be stealing shit from nobody, from trying not to take some shit from somebody, trying to be a a, a, a legitimate citizen and be an entrepreneur and make something happen for yourself. This way it gets you. It gets you face down on the concrete with the police near your back with the handcuffs and the motherfucking super choke hole in the motherfucking uh Randy Savage, what the nigga, Randy Macho Man Savage chokehold with another motherfucker in front of you telling you stop resist. That way, that way selling water to get you, man, if you black. Let me, don't forget to throw, if you were a fucking descendant of slavery. So with that, when we speak of reparations, we speak of not only money, not only financial reparations, but we speak of educational reparations. We speak of Reparations to the justice system, like getting these type of motherfuckers definitely off the street should be in jail. If you ask me, these motherfuckers should be dead. I'm tired of being nice. I'm tired of being Mr. Nice Black Man trying not to offend nobody, man. And it's obvious that these motherfuckers don't care if they offend me. It's time to start stepping on some of these motherfucking toes, man, and, and, and ruffling some of these motherfucking fellas. I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard because these motherfuckers got a license to kill. And I don't give a damn how, how much tough talk you got. 
inside of you. If you know this motherfucker, nine times out of ten gonna get off for killing you. And if you kill him nine times out of ten, you gonna spend the rest of your life in jail. Your back is against the fucking wall. So that's why we gotta kill this system, man. That's why we fight, man. That's why I'm fighting. This is different voices of the black media, and some of them focus in on politics. And I, you know, I'm, I'm on. I, I, I do a little, a little political, you know, what I'm saying talk sometimes. But I, I really, I really just wanna. I, I, I like to point out the injustices in society when I see them, man. And you know, some people feel like that's that's a part of the plan, a part of their plan too, to keep us scared, but. I mean, I'm I'm of the notion that this shit got to be pointed out. This shit got to be called out. This shit, very much attention got to be brought to this shit so that some of the people who don't consider themselves bad guys, but you know what I'm saying, don't speak up on this shit. When they see it, they turn a blind eye to it. You, you, you very much a part of the problem too, man. So I don't know, man. It's... For, for is somebody going? Is something going to have to be put in place for this shit? Because the next thing you, it ain't going to be long for motherfucker just going to start strapping up and, and just saying, "Well, they go to the police. It might be my time to die, or it either going to be his time to die, but it's somebody's time to die." Because I know how these police play. How how far how far away do you think we from that shit, man? With motherfucker just saying, "You man, fuck that." We just gonna start killing these motherfuckers. Cause it ain't enough for y'all. If we, if, if it's solidarity, if, if the solidarity is in, fuck that, we ain't taking this shit. We gonna start firing back on these ass, on their ass. It ain't enough of them, bro. So y'all need to get y'all people in line. Cause this shit is at a, this shit is at a real volatile state right now, man. Well, motherfucker don't even want to see the police ride on the side of them. Cause you know, if you look like me, if you get pulled over by the police, there's a chance that some fucked up shit gonna happen. I don't give a damn if you got your newborn baby in the back seat with you. Some fucked up shit. They liable to splatter your, your brain on, on the baby car seat. And say that you were reaching for a gun when you were reaching for your license that he just told you to reach for. And some kind of way between between the uh the uh his lawyer. The judge and the, and the whole fucked up criminal defense system. Some kind of way he come out the shit with a paid motherfucking vacation, paid administrative leave, desk duty, back to the motherfucking street, back to do the shit again. So you know, as you can see, I don't give a fuck what the officer's name is. It don't even matter the officer's name because the people who gon protest the officer who gonna blow up the officer name and make them make sure they get fired they gonna find out the officer name anyway without me reporting the motherfucking officer name so it ain't about me reporting the officer name it's about me just pointing out all of these blatant attempts to secure the dominant society spot it being dominant that's this all this is like police police equal slave catchers man and how the fuck you think a, a slave catcher treat a slave? Similar to this. He yank on him, he pull on him, he put his knee in his back. He got them slamming head on the concrete. That's how the shit go. Man, it's 22 more seconds in this motherfucker, man. I'm going to see if I can just make it through. We got it, we got it, we got it. Is there somebody we should call? You see in the video, he's not giving to the fire. And that, that picture, that video, bro. That picture, the, the goddamn, uh, that picture, the scene, bro. It's a white, it's a black dude, a young black dude. And since I've been watching the tape, I've seen 30 white people walk by. I ain't seen no black person walk by yet. It's like, it's a display. It's a public lynching. Even though he ain't end up dead, this is a public lynching, man. This is for everybody to see that we still do this shit to these motherfuckers. Fuck what you heard. All that old shit you thought was old, that shit is, ain't nothing changed. This still is the norm. 
Ain't nothing changed. This still is the motherfucking norm. We do this shit. We we slam niggas on the concrete. We twist they motherfucking arm to out of out of motherfucking socket and act like we trying to put some handcuffs on. This what we do. Ain't no the motherfuckers is in they say that's where they supposed to be up on our feet. This is the motherfucking uh the mentality. Of the police and other the dominant society, man, who pay these motherfuckers and I keep hearing that they they not trained well. I'm starting to think that these motherfuckers is trained very well. I'm starting to think that these motherfuckers do their job to the best of their ability. I'm starting to believe that this is in their motherfucking job description. When you get a chance to put your foot on that, ne- fuck it. When you get a chance to put your foot on that nigga neck, put your foot on that nigga neck. And make sure he know who motherfucking boss. Make sure he know who the motherfucking master is. I'm thinking that this part of the motherfucking job description. Because I, I always said this, this system ain't never been broke. The system that was put in place was put in place to affect society the way that it, it, it had the same effects on society that it do. That's what it meant to do. It, it's meant to keep the dominant society dominant and keep Everything else below them, civilizing their line and not a threat to that dominant society. There's, I'm starting to think. Well, now I've been through that, but I'm, I'm starting to think that with the, the police, they, they got great training, man. They got great fucking training. The police, they do that shit good. They kill a nigga so easy. They had to been trained up. They had to been trained up correctly to kill a nigga that easy, huh? They had to go through some motherfucking extensive motherfucking level 99 deep psychosis motherfucking uh, what that shit I used to play motherfucking Call of Duty Ghost type killing motherfucking uh, police diesel. That's how they treat the nigga. They treat her like we the motherfucking uh we the cockroaches and they the raid. Huh? Anyway, man. Should I play the five more seconds of the shit? Do you give a fuck about five more seconds of the shit? Have we already seen what happened so far that he he didn't do shit but uh sell water while being black and then what got him? We got all of that. So man, fuck them last five seconds. It's your boy, Godly Mind State. Like, subscribe, share my shit. Let me know if you feel the way I feel. Let me know if you feel different. Or let me know if you are indifferent. Talk to me.